What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free channel of collective reading for all signs, types of sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Just saying. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,125 subscribers, you guys. So thanks so much for all the love and support. Help support a single mom and two kids and one of her income streams. So thanks so much. Love you guys. Just saying, just saying. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel publicly and uh, social media and word of mouth. I appreciate it. Um, I don't know what's going on over here. All right, so I'm getting on here. Um, I'm doing pre-recorded to protect my energy. And I feel guided, very strongly guided to do a divine fem reading. So um, I'm going to do that. Love you guys so much. I do. Oh, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below if you feel guided to donate. Just saying. I, I, well, I love you too. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I pulled a plethora of decks um, to do the Divine Fem reading. I haven't received any channelings yet, but if I do, of course, I will share them with you guys, Divine Fems. Um, and maybe Cross Watchers, Divine Masculines, if you're watching. I, you know, no judgments. Just saying it. Okay. All right, here we go. Spirit messages you have for divine fans. For one divine fam, your divine masculine thinks you're too much. Too much to handle. Very feisty. Well, well, you know, who likes robots? Just saying, just saying. <laughs> so you plug it in how it resonates. For, so for one of you guys, your divine masculine, I heard, um, thinks you're too much. Um, too much to handle, very feisty. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. But who? It, I'm serious. Who in the world likes robots? Um, they think you're too much to handle. That may, for some, I feel it could be maybe they think you're too attractive and they um, don't want to pursue you because of that, or they think you're just too feisty. And um, how that resonates. It's for at least, that's a, for at least one of you guys. You plug it in, how it resonates. Feisty energy. I love it, you guys. I don't care what, what sign and placement you are. Feisty energy is fire sign energy, but all place, uh, all placements, all signs take on all energies. Remember that. So, whoever you are and how that applies. Feisty energy. I love it. All right. We have Peacock. Woman. Beware of great pride, dealings or relationship with a woman. I'm going to pull some animal um, spirit cards. Spirit messages you have. Okay. Earthworm. I'm going to pull one more. I love you too, baby. So for some of you guys, I strongly feel you're dealing with the earth sign because you have double earth sign energy in here for some. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. 
If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mini, and Jupiter charts. If you are, or you could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. How that resonates, okay? You either could be one or dealing with one, possibly. Heavy Earth sign energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. You plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Okay. I'm going to get a goddess energy um, card. I'm feeling this deck. I just am for real, for real. Share messages you have for this. Lala, the saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. I think this is the independent, feisty energy of one of you guys. I heard one of you guys, your divine masculine, thinks you're feisty. Too much to handle. Uh, just saying, just saying. Whether they don't think you're just too attractive or too independent or... Um, Career-wise, they don't feel like they can measure up to you or what have you, what have you. They just, um, I think you're very independent. I think you're very independent. How that resonates. Independent woman. Spirit messages you have requested. A motorcycle is very significant for one divine feminine. A motorcycle is very significant for one divine fem, is what I heard. So for one of you guys, a motorcycle is very significant. Um, it could, I mean, however that resonates, I feel it could be your motorcycle or somebody you're connected to's motorcycle. But somehow a motorcycle is significant for at least one of you guys. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? Um, number 49 could be very significant as well. Number 49, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to um, or any other significant number in one's life. Number 49, angel of love, which is beautiful. By the way, I'm going to say real quick, I encourage everybody to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather if you have it. Um, I've really been exercising a lot lately and I, it's become a new favorite thing, so... Moving our bodies, just saying, just saying, just saying. Earthworm. For one divine fan, someone is about to communicate with you. They want you to be a sneaky link. It would not be a wise idea to lower your standards. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in how it resonates. For at least one of you guys, somebody I heard is going to communicate with you soon. They want you to be a sneaky, sneaky link. Um, so, anybody doesn't know a sneaky link's like a it's a third party situation ship, maybe a mistress for some of you guys, if they're offering to pay for the goodies or like a, um, or a, what do you help? What do you call it? A, a sugar, sugar mama. I meant sugar daddy, sugar daddy, um, energy. If they're offering to pay for the goods, um, uh, some of these people might even offer to pay for the goods. And do I believe you should pay for sex, um, services for sex? No, but I'm not judging. Um, I'm not judging. Um, but it could be for some. It could be for some. Regardless of whether they want to pay you or not, they want you to be a sneaky link. I heard it would not be wise to lower your standards. Of course, you can listen to the psychic intuitive downloads or not. By the way, these are psychic intuitive messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Um, 
but it sounds like it's lowering standards energy here. We've got the earthworm energy. For some, I feel it's an earth sign about to do this. For some, it could be any other sign. You plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, they want you to basically lower your standards to, because in this, okay, this is the animal spirit deck. They want you to lower yourself to the lowest of the food chain here because the earthworm in this deck is the lowest of the food chain here. They want you to lower your standards down to the lowest of the low to benefit their sexual urges, basically, which is pretty crappy of them. And it makes them an earthworm energy, even contemplating that in their head, wanting you to be that, in my opinion. All right, it would not be smart to lower your standards. Um, so, of course, you can choose to do it if this message ends up applying for you or not. Um, everybody is the own manifest of their own destiny. So you plug it in how it resonates. But they want you to become an earthworm energy, but they are lowering their standards even by thinking of you like this, to be honest. Because you're a divine femme, whoever you are. You're a divine femme. You are should not be treated that way. You should not be treated that way or disrespected that way. But somebody is thinking of you that way. Uh, for at least one of you guys, they're going to reach out soon offering you, all, offering you this, which that's not really an offer. That's a crap offer, if I've ever heard one. And that's just the truth. Camel? Egyptian royalty bloodline. Egyptian royalty, royalty bloodline is what I heard. Egyptian royalty bloodline. So one of you guys has Egyptian royalty bloodline. Which is very high bloodline lineage. Very high. I feel for some of you guys, you're very high in the spiritual realm. And I'm just being real. I do. Um, I feel you're gifted. And you get you have gifts in some shape, form, or fashion. Whatever they are. I mean, true spiritual gifts. Not like mental health issues here. I mean, like true spiritual gifts. Egyptian royal bloodline energy. Which is strong as energy. Um, whoever you are and how this applies. Um, camels, they live in Egypt, um, primarily. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. A flight is about to become very significant in divine feminine's life. A flight is about to come, become very significant in a divine fem's life. So, however that resonates and applies for you, divine fem. A flight is about to become very significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. You plug it in, how it resonates. Lila, the saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. A divine feminine is busy making her own life her own life. Many people are very upset about this, but you just keep doing you, honey boo boo. I don't keep doing you, honey boo boo. Y'all know I, that's been my thing for forever. Keep doing you, honey boo boo. So if this resonates for you, I heard you're too busy. Basically, you're, you're staying in your own lane, whoever you are, if this message applies for you. You're staying in your own lane. You're doing your own thing. You're self-caring yourself, I'm feeling. Or, or maybe you're renovating your home or doing self-care practices on yourself or exercising like I've been doing like crazy or what have you, what have you. Whatever you've been doing, you have been staying in your own lane, doing you, taking care of you some. If you have children, child or children, you've been, um, my single parents out there, um, you've been doing you and taking care of your child or children, however that resonates. But however that resonates, um, it pisses other people off because they want to be around your positive energy, your good energy, your high vibrations. Um, and it pisses them off because they cannot energy suck off you, I feel, anymore. Um, and she is so cute. Look at her. Just saying, just saying. But I feel very independent vibes here. Whoever you are, how this applies. Very independent vibes. Very um, take charge energy. Uh, like... 
taking on masculine energy in your fem, but still keeping your femininity if you choose to keep your feminine feminine that say that five times fast femininity um, how that applies that's really beautiful angel of love Hey y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, yeah. Someone cannot get you off their mind. Been thinking of you all the time. They're contemplating if this is love. Oh my God, you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard someone cannot quit thinking about you. Uh, you're on their mind all the time. They're contemplating if this is love. So, whoa. You plug it in, how it resonates. So, angel of love. In this aspect, this is some, like, I feel it's a divine masculine. Um, or for some, it could be a divine femme. Um, you know, how that resonates. But you're definitely divine femme if this resonates for you. But someone has just been, they cannot get you off their mind. Um, and they're contemplating if it's love. So whoever this person is, I don't know if they were loved as properly as a child. Um, and they don't know what true love is possibly for some is what I'm feeling. Maybe they didn't have proper um, parent or parents to really nourish them, grow them, lead them in the right direction possibly. And they just don't know what love is, is what I'm feeling for some. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately. But that's why I always wanted to be a guide and light to my chop children um i don't care if i'm a single mother or not i have enough love in my heart to give you know period point blank um to nourish and grow you know my children but that's just me but my point is is i don't think some of these people know what love is um so they're trying to figure out if it really is love with you is what i'm trying to say um they can't get you off their mind so they're trying to figure out it's like an internal struggle inside themselves they're trying to figure out well, do I love her? Um, sh do I not? Like, because I don't feel some of them know what true love is. Um, and I, I hate to say that, but I mean it. One of these people is about to get a huge epiphany soon. Huge epiphany. Huge wake up call. Through many series of chain of events, they might reach out soon. Okay, I heard one of these people is about to get a huge epiphany soon. Huge wake up call, which epiphany is like a wake up call, light bulb moment, aha moment, blah, 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 blah. But um, I heard after they get this epiphany, so it hasn't happened yet, um, Divine Femme. They will probably, as sounds like after many series of chain events, they will probably reach out soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I think to express feelings of love or appreciation or respect or something. Um, somebody's having an internal struggle inside themselves trying to figure out if they love you, basically, or at least one. And I'm just being real. And I certainly feel for some of you guys, they don't even know what love is because I don't feel they were properly parented correctly as a child. Um, and I hate, I, I'm not judging anybody. I'm not, but I do feel that for some, I mean it. And I'm not judging this person. It's good that they're going inside and they're trying to figure this out. Um, I don't judge at all. Confirmation for my kitty. But that's why we need to, uh, as a collective and a world, we need to be change makers in a positive way. We need to be change makers in a positive way. So things like this doesn't happen to people in their childhood so they can grow up and have healthy positive copacetic relationships um with others so they're not confused on what love really is and love really isn't you know what i'm saying that's the way i look at it peacock beware great pride For one, there's a very 
arrogant, prideful feminine energy. Some currently in your life, some intermittently in your life, some she's about to become a part of your life. Handle this person with great care. Huge ego. The one about to become a part of your life, she's a new person. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so prideful, boastful, high ego, fem energy, if this resonates for you. Uh, for some, she's already a part of your life. Um, for some, she's about to be a part of your life. And she is a, a very prideful, boastful, ego-centric kind of person. I heard handle her with care. So, you know, um, handle the conversations with care. Handle how you deal with her with care. Handle the situations with her with care. Now, however she becomes a part of your life, I'm not sure if it's personal, professional, or what have you, what have you. Um, but it's definitely a feminine energy. For some, she's already a part of your life. So I think a part of your life already right now. For some, she's an intermittent part of your life. So she's every now and then in your life, every now and then in your life, every now and then in your life. For some, I feel this could be a family member, community member, coworker neighbor, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So my intermittent means every now and then, every now and then, every now and then. So you plug it in how it resonates. And then the third one is the new one um, that's about to become a part of your life. Um, but she is a new person to you. I heard handle her with care. So, you know, try, try not to burst the ego bubble. I feel for some, you're going to have to deal with her in a professional way. There's a reason why the spiritual download is handle the, your interactions with her with care. I think it's because you're about to have to deal with her on a professional level um, in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, you already do deal with her, I think, in a professional level. Um, or there's there's some reason not to burst her ego or to handle the conversations with her in a tactful manner. I don't feel this is your lover, is what I'm trying to say at all. I feel this is some other kind of relationship in some shape, form, or fashion that you have contact with her, is what I'm saying. So just be aware of that if those message or messages apply for you. She's highly jealous of you, highly. Some you're highly intuitive and you know this. Some you're about to figure this out. Okay, I heard she's highly intuitive. Uh, I'm sorry. I heard she's highly jealous of you. For some, you have already figured this out. You're highly intuitive. For some, you're about to figure it out. So she's highly jealous of you. Whoever, however you apply in these situations, if you do apply, you please don't get confused. Only take the messages resonate with the rest, okay? Um, so she's highly jealous of you in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, you know, people can be jealous. Sorry, my hair. Um, people can be jealous of people all the time, man, uh, for various different reasons. Sometimes it's redonkulous reasons, and that's just the truth. But it all depends if you're built that way. I'm not a jealous person, and that's just the truth. You can sit over there with freaking 10 million bucks. I I mean, yeah, would I like 10 mil in my bank account? Hell yeah, you better bet, bet I would. But am I going to go around boasting to my community or my world if I have 10 million in my bank account? No. Um, that's the damn truth. Um but if you have 10 mil in your bank account, I'm not going to be all up on you just because you have 10 mil. You see what I'm saying? Um, it's not money that impresses me, but everybody's different. Um, I'm not saying this is about money. I'm just using that as an example. But people get jealous over many different reasons. Um, so whoever this person is and how they apply, okay? Do feel it's definitely an adult person, um, 18 plus. Let me see if I hear anything else. Rico at Rico Crimes are about to become very significant in a divine feminine's life soon. And one of you is about to work very closely with an investigator soon. It's about to create many positive series of chain events for both of you. Very positive connection going to be here. 
Oh my God, I heard Rico Act, Rico Crime is about to become very significant in one of you Divine Femmes' lives. So if you're not sure what the Rico Crimes and Rico Act is, just Google it. It's basically white collar organized crime, basically. In a nutshell, for anybody who doesn't know, that's at least for one. And for one, I heard you're about to work very closely with an investigator soon, I think, to explore this Rico Crime, Rico Act energy or to help bust this shit up or to provide, provide information on it or something. I heard it's going to be create many positive series of chain events between you and this investigator. So, um, how that resonates? Um, it can be a masculine or feminine investigator. How that resonates, man, uh, divine fit. How this applies for you, okay? But it sounds like you're going to get along very well with this investigator, whether it's a masculine or feminine investigator, and it's going to be very positive between you two. Very, very, very positive. Very. It's going to be a wonderful connection. Very, very, very positive. It's going to be a wonderful connection. Well, that's beautiful, ma'am, whoever you are and um, whoever this investigator is. I feel like being masculine or feminine investigator. Um, but I think you're about to help with some kind of information or um, something. It sounds like you're about to freewillingly do this and you want to or they're going to ask you and you'll be like, yeah, you know, why not bust up the bitches? You know, I mean, not like that, but you know what I mean? Um Maybe for some y'all might end up falling in love. We have the angel of love, possibly. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. But I heard it's going to be a very, maybe for some. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard it's going to be a very, very, very positive connection here. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So, for some it could be an earth sign investigator, possibly. Or you could be an earth sign. Sunscreen for one, for sure. And a divine feminine has been held back and held back and held back, but through many series of time events, you're about not to be held back soon. Okay, I heard sunscreen for one of you guys, so sunscreen for one. I feel you might need to apply sunscreen or you need to go purchase some sunscreen or maybe you need to lather it up on yourself or your child or children or your partner or what have you because some of you guys i feel you have partners in here for some you might be legally married for some you might be single you have to plug yourself in how it resonates but some kind of sunscreen energy um i feel you might be pasty as a white girl like me and you might need to lather it up like spf 70 or 60 or some crap i didn't hear that but only you know your spf preferences um i need the big stuff uh because y'all see my pasty white skin just saying um but However, that resonates some kind of sunscreen energy. But, you know, we're in June, June 15th of 2022. We're about to hit summer soon. Um, so, good Lord, my hair is so crazy. Um, so, you know, um, that makes sense. I mean, it may, I don't care if you're not pasty as a white girl like me. I don't care if you were, have a beautiful brown tone and texture about yourself. Every, everybody could use some sunscreen. And that's just the truth. SPF protects, 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 for anybody doesn't know. Um, and then I heard um, one of you guys has been, it sounds like strategically held back. But through many series of chain events, it sounds like it's about to speed up for you. Go fast, 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 fast in a positive way. In a very positive way. In a very positive way. Oh, that was confirmation. In a very positive way. And that could be this too. Maybe you're going to use your words, your spoken words, independent. Um, for some, it could be that investigator energy. For some, it could be anything else. But you were strategically held back for some reason. But it sounds like soon you're about not to be held back. Something's about to happen positively in your life where it's about to push you forward in a very positive way. However that resonates, ma'am. Um, divine tips. This is beautiful. I think about to do a divine masculine. This is beautiful. All right. Well, we're done. I need to go get a clip or something. This is driving me crazy. I love you guys. Namaste.